hi guys and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time landing on my channel my name is Kathy I'm a South African expat mom living in Dubai with my husband Dane and our five and a half month old baby girl Nova so today's video we're going to be covering our favorite baby products for that three to six month age group and we'll be covering three categories Firstly, we'll talk about toys and activities that Nova's been enjoying. Secondly, we'll cover baby gear and baby carriers. And lastly, we'll do health and wellness products. Uh, so the first category we'll be covering is toys and activities. So basically Nova has become so much more interactive in this three to six month age group and she's loving playing with toys. Now, when it came to choosing toys for our home, I wanted to find toys that were really useful in helping her development. Um, I did want to go out and just buy a whole bunch of random toys that may or may not be a hit with her so I did quite a bit of research into what we were going to invest in and I wanted the toys to be both functional and fun for Nova of course so the selection I'm showing today is basically um, out of the toys that we've purchased her top favorites and the ones that we feel were the best spins and definitely what we'll be using again with our future babies when it comes to baby germs I've heard a lot of mixed reviews some moms swear by them and say that they're Babies absolutely love the dangling toys and being able to use their arms and legs freely on the mats and play around. Other moms have said babies got very bored with the mat, with the activity mats and even the toys that are hanging. Um, so I did a bit of research into this and I found that it's really important when you're choosing your baby's activity mats to look for a, a few key pointers that'll help keep your baby interested in the activity mat or play gym for longer. So the first thing is young babies are very attracted to high contrast objects and toys visually. So you want to choose an activity mat that's got a lot of black and white in it. For example, ours has got the white and black bars in different patterns, which she loved to look at in the early stages and it kept her entertained as well. We've also got on the mat, it's like a white and black border. So when she's doing tummy time, etc., this keeps her entertained as is. So try and opt for something with a lot of white and black. Then you want to go for something that has a sound function, so something that makes a little bit of music and it requires her to pull down on it to give a reaction. This came in handy especially as she hits around four and a half months. She started realizing that by her action she was able to make this little toy um, make music, so that was great. Then you want to look for something that has a mirror. So babies are usually really fascinated with mirrors and seeing their reflections. So this was great. It's a little Velcro mirror, so we could strap it on wherever we like. And you could also strap it around your house, perhaps if you're somewhere else and she's not even on her play mat. It's a toy you can clip and unclip. Each toy has a different little action. So this one, the toucan, has got a lovely silicon leaf, which encouraged her to reach and pull down so that she could actually chew on it. Um, we've then got this little pineapple, which has actually got an inbuilt squeaker. And then we have two other toys, an elephant, which is crack, uh, crunchy and cracky. That's actually in her baby bag at the moment. And then um, just another little dangly toy that has little tags so she can feel different textures and tags. We've also then just clipped on another um, hanging toy. So what's great with these little baby gyms, you can usually buy other toys and just when she's getting bored with what you've already got hanging, just improvise and hang on something new and different for her to play with. So yeah, those are my little tips and tricks with regards to a baby gym and I'll definitely be using this with our future babies. Okay guys, the next lot of toys I'll talk about are teething toys. Oh my gosh, huge variety. This is Sophie. I'm pretty sure there is not a baby video on the internet that doesn't mention Sophie in the three to six month age group. She is as amazing as they say she is. Babies love her. Nova is no different. It's really easy to grab and hold on to her little legs. Um, her head has got lots of little nobbles and bumps on it, her little ears, so Nova can really rub around her mouth with it. Get yourself a Sophie. She's a squeaky toy as well. Um, yeah really good investment. We were gifted ours and I absolutely adore our Sophie. And then guys, just get a few different options available for your baby because they will get bored and because they're teething toys, you are going to have to be sterilizing and washing them quite regularly. So have a few different options available for her. Um, we really enjoyed this little teething ring which has got the teething beads and it also helps as a grasp exercise for Novi to grasp onto the wood. Um, that's great. This little soft cloth is a textured cloth with a little silicon pineapple. It's really handy to pop in her baby bag when we're going out. 
She showed a lot of interest in this toy, putting the little wooden beads into her mouth, the elasticized tension bands, and the bright colors. She really had a lot of fun with this toy. She still does, and I think it's a really interesting one to keep in the toy box and encourage their motor skills and coordination. The next thing I would recommend you getting is a black and white fold-out book. So this is actually something we played with with Nova from when she was really, really little. Again, the black and white contrasts, and it can fold out concertina style and stand alongside the play mat. It really gets them to turn and practice uh, rolling over. So I do believe this little book had a lot to do with the first time Nova rolled over. Um, it encouraged her and yeah, she loves still staring at these images. Um, the high contrast I think of the black and white is really great. Okay guys, so the second category we'll be covering today is baby gear, what we've really been using a lot and enjoying. So the first uh, subcategory in this section will be baby seating. So somewhere between three to six months, your baby is definitely going to start getting tired of just lying down and you are not going to be able to carry them around all the time. So seating options become really important and um, we've been really fortunate to be gifted uh, a mamaroo which was amazing when Nova was smaller, but she got quite frustrated in it when she learned that she could move around by herself. So we stopped using Mamaru probably when she was around three and a half months old. Um, we were then also gifted a Baby Bjorn, which has been absolutely amazing. So guys, the Baby Bjorn is really great when it comes to just putting your baby down for a couple of minutes so you can fold the laundry or do something in the kitchen. It's really, quick and easy and light to pick up. We'll insert a clip of her playing in her baby Bjorn. It does have a toy bar that fits across the, the seat so she can keep herself entertained with her little hands playing. And it also moves, it has a bit of a spring flex. So as she's kicking and moving, she naturally has a little bit of a bounce, which she finds really enjoyable. I love that it's got rubber feet so it doesn't slip around on tiles. And it's just a really safe, easy, a baby seat to have her in. It's also got different reclining options. So if you want them to be more relaxed and actually laid back, maybe to settle down before bed and you're quick. It also folds up really easily if you were going to a friend. addition to the seating arrangement for Novi is the Bumbo. Um, there's a lot of mixed information out there with regards to the Bumbo seats. Uh, I think the main thing is to use it in moderation and to not have your baby sitting in it for prolonged periods of time, especially when they're not actually comfortable sitting yet by themselves. So it's a lovely lightweight foam seat and it really provides them with a lot of upper back support. So they're able to get that seated position quite upright without flopping over or backwards. Okay guys, and the last piece of baby gear I'll talk about today is our Licton baby carrier that we saw at a friend and fell in love with and it's definitely become one of our firm favorites. So before in my newborn essentials video, you will see that I mentioned the boba wraps, which absolutely amazing. I loved using my boba wrap, but as Novi's grown bigger and has gotten heavier, the boba wrap's no longer offering her enough support. And she's also starting to want to kick and move her little arms around a lot more. So we needed to upgrade our carrier solution. And we found the Licton does that. Um, it's got a great foam seat for her to rest on so I'm not having a lot of weight on my shoulders and on my back and it can also be used just as a hip seat so without straps. I'm going to cut now to a video clip and you guys can see the Licton baby carrier. I love how easy this carrier is to put on myself. I simply use the velcro straps around my hips, reinforce with the buckle strap, tighten so that it's secure. I'm then able to put Nova on top of the little foam seat, which is a lifesaver. It helps distribute her weight so that it's not all carried by my back and shoulders. It's also more comfortable for her and I think she feels a lot more secure. I then use the straps and secure the buckle behind my neck and we're good to go. I love that we can also use the seat in an outward facing position. So if we're in town or going for a walk, Nova can see what's going on in the world around her and she can also kick and wiggle her little arms around freely. Later on, we can also use this carrier as a backpack carrier. 
Okay, so moving on to our final category for today, uh, we're going to be covering the health and wellness products that we've been finding really useful for Nova in this period. Um, I'm in no way a healthcare professional or a doctor, so I do recommend you consult with your pediatrician before using any of these products on your own baby. I'm personally just sharing what works for us and our experience, so I hope they come in handy for your family as well. The first product I'll talk about is Aquaphor, which is really handy when it comes to if your baby's developed a drool rash got a great consistency so it's almost vaseline or um, like petroleum jelly except a lot more hydrating and it actually penetrates into the skin and it's colorless so if you are applying it to baby's face um, you don't have to have your baby with you know white ointment on their face you can apply aquaphor to uh, little dry bits of skin or drool rash or even if they've scratched their little cheeks and it really helps to soothe the area and speed up healing so we've really been enjoying this and a little goes a long way so you don't need to use too much at a time then I'm using this obviously when she was still a newborn and had um, a bit of gas or tummy gripes and we didn't really make use of it at the high quantities they recommend or indicate on the bottle we found it was more beneficial just to help her reset when she was inconsolable so I would literally just dunk her pacifier in a small amount of gripe water that we'd already decanted pop that in her mouth and I think the combination of the taste the sweetness of the product um, it just helped her catch her breath and reset and calm down uh, so yeah this is really helpful we choose to use the nighttime remedy um, and yeah I think it's a great way just to to help soothe your baby when you can't figure out what is actually going on, um, if it is their little tummies in fact that are sore or if they're just inconsolable. So keep this on hand. It's also something I take with me whenever we do go out. Um, if she isn't consolable when we're in town or just out of her home environment and routine, um, babies get upset. So best to have something that can reset and just calm them down. I haven't had to use any pain and fever medication much, but Nova did have a mild or low grade fever after her four month vaccinations and I did make use of Culpol so it's a pain and fever medication a syrup I'm sure your pediatrician would prescribe something specifically for you and what's available in your country but we've basically used it with this very handy little pacifier medicine dispenser um, so it was not traumatic at all to give her her medicine we measured out the recommended dosage in the little measuring cup and then the little pacifier lid just screws right onto that and you pop it into baby's mouth and they instinctively suck away at their pacifier if they're taking a pacifier already. So yeah, um, Culpol did help to reduce her fever and it allowed her to get a good night's sleep that um, night after her vaccination. This product I'll talk about in this category is just the Young Living Essential Oils. Um, this is just the purification blend, but you've got also a peace and calming blend, a soothing blend, and I really enjoy using these in Nova's bath water. So I will usually add um, a few drops of the peace and calming blend to her bath water. I really believe in essential oils and just the benefit of aromatherapy in creating a soothing environment, especially during bedtime so it's a lovely part of our bedtime routine and I really believe it benefits her in calming her and relaxing her when it's time to to unwind and settle down for the evening thanks so much for watching the video guys if you did like it please give it a thumbs up I'd love to have your comments on what products work for you during this three to six month baby phase and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to follow along for more motherhood and lifestyle videos here in Dubai